my grandma passed away at 5.30 on Tuesday morning with my dad by her side. My aunts were unable to make it. A family separated, they say, by the Coots border blockade. Daughters unable to see their mother for the last time before she passed. I understand that the trucker's message is to be about freedom. But their protest affected my family's freedom. And my aunts will never get the chance to say goodbye. Megan Allen shared her story during an NDP press conference Thursday, where the NDP transportation critic called for the UCP government to do more to disperse the blockade. Through the Traffic Safety Act, the Minister of Transportation has the legal authority to suspend commercial operator licenses if they fail to follow the use of highway and rules of the road regulation. In a reply to City News, Transportation Minister Sawney encouraged law enforcement to use every tool available to conclude the protest, adding she can only revoke or suspend a commercial license after operators are convicted through law enforcement tickets under the Traffic Safety Act. The NDP transportation critic says that $44 million worth of trade goes across the Coots border every day, so the blockade has far-reaching consequences. But behind that number are, are cattle ranchers and, and, and grain operators and uh, manufacturers and, and produ food producers right across this province that need to export our goods, and also uh, the, uh, the people of the province need to get our, our grocery stores replenished with the uh, goods that we rely upon from the United States. Megan Allen has these last words to say about the blockade. I just would hate for this other family to have to go through what our family did. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.